One of the biggest questions that you will hear atheists always ask is, if God created everything, then who created God? And that, super easy question. You see, the premise of the question is already screwed up. It's like if I asked you, oh, my friend John is pregnant. Is he going to have a boy or a girl? One more time. My friend John is pregnant. Do you think he's going to have a boy? Or do you think he's going to have a girl? And then you say, oh. John is probably a guy and guys can't get pregnant. So neither. And it's the same way with God. If God has no beginning and no end, then he cannot be created. Okay. Not, if, if God has no beginning or end, he cannot be created. Meaning, if somebody created God, then he wouldn't be God. One more time. If somebody creates God, then he wouldn't be God. Why? Because God has no beginning and has no end. So it's one of those things where everything that's created has a creator. So, but, but the thing is, God is not created. So he has no creator. Okay? Okay? Everything that is created has a creator. But God is not created. So he has no creator. Okay? And like I said, if my friend John is about to have a baby, is he going to have a boy or girl? If God created him, if God created everything, who created him? So it's one of those things where it's almost a rhetorical question. You know what I'm saying? Because the premise of the question is already screwed. The, the, uh, the premise of the question is already a fallacy. Okay? Okay. So every time you hear uh, somebody ask, Oh, if God created uh, everything, then who created God? You can ask them, Oh, my friend John is about to have a baby. Is he going to have a boy or a girl? And just when they, oh, John can't have a baby. Okay, well, God can't be created. It's that simple. Just like there's things that a man cannot do. You know what I'm saying? That God cannot be created. Why? Because if he is, then that means he wouldn't be God. Okay? It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Okay?